Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Falkirk County Public Schools with another edition of Checking In. Uh, two things that have come up here recently that I'd like to comment on. Uh, one has to do with the calendar and the other has to do with PE. Um, I received a, an email from the Checking In um, email account and uh, someone uh, posted kind of a long question commentary about the amount of time elementary students, especially in Falkirk County Public Schools, spend in PE or engage in physical activity. and uh, the, the, the author was correct. We don't meet the state guideline as far as the, the number of minutes students are expected to be involved with um, physical activity. Uh, high and middle school do, elementary do not. And I, I, I frankly, I don't, I don't like that. I don't think that's a good positive thing in any regard. But what people need to remember is everyone wants more time. And, you know, elementary goes uh, from 8.30 to 3.30. High school is 7.30 to about 2.30, high middle school. Everyone would like to have more time. And the fact of the matter is the state is constantly adding requirements to the plate of uh, K-12 public educators. They, don't, they never take things away. They only add to them. And so if you look at all disciplines, there's always more to do. But, but if I went down this hallway and asked every one of my supervisors, English, science, social studies, math, arts, music, uh, PE, unit, CTE, you name it, they would all like to have more time. None of them would turn that down. And if I went to each principal and said, I can add, give you more time towards any one of these uh, areas, especially reading and math, which is what, what they would want, and it won't impact the rest of your instructional day, they would say yes. But there's only so many minutes in a day, and it's hard to get it all in. That, that, that does not at all mean that I don't value physical education or the school board doesn't value physical education or activity we do but there's a there has to be a balance struck and one of the ways we've tried to strike that balance is of course by introducing the fresh program whereby we are we have teachers who teach other teachers how to instruct using you know physical activity physical uh, uh, exercise to engage learning and to uh, get kids more excited about learning and, and up and moving in the classroom so we do that through a, a very uh, generous uh, PATH Foundation grant. So that's one way we've, we've tried to strike a balance. But it, you know, I would be lying to you if I said, well, we can do more. I don't know that we could as far as the time piece goes with phys physical education and recess, for example, because we, we only have so many minutes in a day. It's very, very difficult. Uh, the other question has to do with um, the calendar. I will say that. Um, People in, in informal surveying like the calendar model that we have. Not everyone likes it, but the vast majority like the calendar model we have, whereby we finish the semester, first semester, by uh, winter break. Uh, we have guaranteed two weeks Christmas holiday. Um, we have a week-long spring break. We, we have unbalanced semesters, which really has to do with weather and the, the fact that we miss so many days. Second term, which ends up being a 95-day term versus an 85-day term in the first term. Uh, our informal surveying has been very, very people like it. And the feedback I get from parents, teachers, uh, staff, and students is very positive. However, having said that, we are in the midst of surveying uh, parents of my school, school sport council, PTO presidents, my ACES group, which is my uh, staff advisory group. Then I'll also be um, surveying the, um, my student advisory folks, my senior staff. So we are going to be surveying, but we're not doing a whole broad division-wide survey. We're going to hold off and do that um, the next time we produce a two-year calendar. So we're going to be providing a two-year calendar draft to the school board probably sometime after the first of the year. And then we'll do it again in two more years. And at, at, during that year is when we'll do sort of a full-blown survey of all stakeholders. But this, this time, it will only be, you know, a survey of, of maybe 150 folks within the school division, uh, maybe a little bit more than that. So that's the, uh, that's the calendar info. So I hope this has been helpful to you, and I appreciate if you keep sending those requests, questions, concerns, etc., to the uh, checking in email address. Thank you.